Hi, welcome to Shikhan.com. In today's tutorial, we are going to see that after making an MS Excel document, how do we save the same document into PDF form or save it in Excel? Today, we will learn about how to save it in PDF and most importantly, we are going to learn how to set the size of the page because the place where we work on Excel is a huge area. So, if we don't maintain the size of the document, the document won't look good when the Excel will preview. So, when Excel will preview, the documents will look better but when we give these documents for printing or if you send it in a PDF form, then the entire format will get mixed up. Therefore, for us, the most important part is that at the start of the work, we must understand the page layout. As we have already learned how to make an invoice or a result sheet or a mark sheet and different kinds of documents here. Now, when we want to print those things, for example, if we want to print the invoice that we made in the earlier video. If we open the folder from that class, then open the table of that class. Now, we can see that we had already learned and made an invoice format. Now, generally we make these invoices to send to the client. Now, if I don't resize this to A4 length, then I cannot save it in PDF. Now, if I consider this format and the graph that we have given here, if we go to preview from here, we can see that the graph has gone outside the print format. But the format of the invoice has remained in the print preview. It did not appear automatically. It's because when we had made this table, I had maintained the format and the size due to which the main shape has remained in the box. So, in today's tutorial, we will see that how we maintain the margin and the measurement and create a bill or invoice for this. Now, for that, we have to go to the third option in the top menu, Page Layout. We will be clicking on it. After clicking, we will get three options from here. One is Margin, then Orientation and then Size. Margin is when we print something or when we save something in PDF, then we will see that at this place, there is a gap between the lines in the right side, which is called the margin. Inside this box, few measurements are given so that when you will print, you can select how much space will remain empty. So if we click here, three kinds of styles will appear. You can get custom margins as well. If you wish to customize your margins, you can do that here. Otherwise, you can use the three options that are already present here. In which we can see the second option, the area of the sides are very wide. And if we see the third option, we can see the margin is thinner from all the sides. After this is size, let's click on it. After clicking on size, we can click on any of the options first for seeing the example. Then I click letter. Now, if I focus on the main workspace, then we can see that after I, there is a dotted line as a margin. And similarly, after R, there is again a dotted line as margin. Now, these margins after I and R are the page layouts which means the content that we write in between these will give a better output in our prints. Let's write something as an example here. So if I type something, now you can see that I've written something on the left as well as the right of the black margin here. And on the right side of the margin, we have given the numbering. So now let's go to print preview. Now we will be able to see these two writings which was there on the left side of the margin has come on the first page. And the numbering that we had wrote has not come up on the first page as it is placed outside the page format. So in this way, we can first take out the page layout and the designs that we want like invoice or bills and just easily put in here. Now, if we go downwards, the pages will just increase like one, two, three, four. But we have to keep in mind that we have to write everything or make every design of ours on the left side of the margin. Then comes orientation. Now for understanding orientation, let's go back to the class where we learned about mark sheets. So let's open our previous mark sheet. So we learned how to make a result sheet. Now this sheet is longer on the sides, which means if we size the page in A4 or letter, then we can see that the margin is coming down from the I column. And because of that, in the mark sheet, only subject six is coming to the print preview. But we know that our result sheet comes in landscape format, not in portrait format. Portrait is the vertical format and landscape is the horizontal format. So if we change the format of the page from the orientation to landscape, then our page will set up as a horizontal page. 
Now our width has increased to K. But even after doing that, we can see that we still have columns left to be set inside the page. So we need to make these columns inside as well. So what we can do is, whenever we are working with a format, whether it is a result sheet or any invoice for a client or a student database or any office sheets or expense sheets or anything that we have learned in our course or we need in our daily life, we need to keep in mind our page formatting so that after making our documents, we don't have to get into trouble in aligning those into page borders. So we learned how do we have to set up the page sizing and how we will do the orientation and landscape as well as margins and there are a few more options here like guideline and heading. Now we have these two options here. So if we look into these, if we remove the check marks on these, then we can see our page has become totally white. So if we make any mistake and press any wrong button like this, then we don't need to panic, we just need to come here and mark it again. In the same way comes the heading. If we uncheck the heading, then the headings of the columns like A, B, C, D, after unchecking that will be removed and the numbering of the rows will also be removed. So in this way we can remove the guidelines and the headings. And after that we have the last option on the top bar that is view. If we click on that, we can see we have more small options right there. Now what does these do? In the left side, we can see that normal is selected. Now if I click on page layout right after that, till now we were taking the black line as the guide, we can see that from that black line, the page layout has changed and cut it into two or more different pages. So we can arrange our pages using this option as well as because we can see the page layout in real time with this option. Now by doing this, we can also notice that it looks more like an MS Word file than an MX Excel file. So if we want to do any formatting like this, then we will go to view and click on the page layout option. After that, we have more such options like formula bar. If we uncheck it, then it will go out. Same works for headings. Headings will go and come. We can zoom in, zoom out. So there are many things like this that you can understand just by looking on it. Now we will see how we will save this file into PDF format. So let's press on the Excel button. Then we'll click on save as. After that, we will get an option that says PDF or XPS. So let's click on it. Then we can name our file anything and save it in PDF. Then click on publish. If you have any PDF reader installed, then your file will automatically open on, on your screen. So in this way, we can format an Excel document and after formatting, we can print it and save it or also mail it as required. So through today's class, we have learned the basics of MS Excel and hence complete our course here. Excel is a very wide subject. It has more formulas and many more use cases. If you want to learn about all those things of Excel, you can find them in our advanced level course. Thank you for being with Chikhan.com. For learning and getting more courses like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.